most valuable commodity I know of is information. Wouldn't you agree? Alright guys, back again. Over here with the Chinese diesel heater. I'm sorry if it's loud and you can't hear me. I'll try to speak up. Uh, this is an alternative energy experiment, uh, basically. I'm just harvesting this waste heat using an old uh, steam radiator. You can find these steam radiators on uh, Marketplace. I've seen them for as low as $20. You move, you know, that kind of deal. All the way up to, uh, I've seen some really, really fancy ones for like $200. Now, they made all different shapes and sizes of these things in the old days. So, I mean, sometimes you'll come across like a really crazy one. Uh, and you can do this. Uh, you can hook up, this is a Chinese diesel heater. I'll get into what that is. I'm sure you're familiar. If not, we'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, I also have hooked these two generators. One of those cheapo, probably both kind of cheapos, but that one's a two stroke, thousand watts max. This one's a four stroke. I think that one does 1500 watts. And I've ducted them right through here. Nah, yeah, pretty amazing how much heat we're capturing. So let's turn this thermal couple on. 336. Um, lead the top lead. 200.7 on the bottom, I can't remember which is which, but, uh, well, we can just test with this here, we'll find out, so, we get about 250, this says, and 170, so the top one is going to be the 200, and the bottom is going to be the 336, okay. There was quite a discrepancy, but I trust the thermal couple more because it's directly against it. This is a scientific instrument. It's a piece of meter, so that's in Fahrenheit. This is also in Fahrenheit, so yeah. Um, the, uh, looks like the, I got the, the, the temperature set on the uh, sensor inside the burn chamber in this Chinese diesel heater. Now these heaters, this is the all-in-one unit. It's got a one-gallon tank, and that'll burn about nine, ten hours. And then uh, it's got a remote there. You can turn it on and off. I like this style controller here. We do have a more modern one. Some people prefer uh, by no means professional, but I do have CO2 detector here, carbon monoxide it means CO detector, and I have another carbon monoxide detector with the PPM meter on it. And, uh, so we're just going to let this cheech, but I've boiled water up top here, um, this whole thing is hot to the touch, um, but you come out here to the exhaust. It's, I mean, you can hold on to it. It's not super hot. Not hold on to that. It's hundreds of degrees. It's almost 400 coming out of there. And then, uh, yeah, this whole thing will heat up uh, the bottom area to about 250, 300, 400. And then the top will uh, heat up to about 250. And that's if you let it run for a long time. I just had this fired up for about an hour. This is 250 pounds of iron, so... It does take a little while to heat up, but what's another cool thing is uh, people made a lot of comments when I made a video of this before. It got pretty popular, and they, a lot of HVAC guys and experts in a lot of fields said that moisture could accumulate in this tube here and cause problems, but I had to, you know, type back that I ran this all last winter practically uh, to heat to heats this entire garage. It's not a big garage got all my toys and stuff you know but it's not insulated in the least I mean I got cardboard up on the top that's about it but um yeah so this thing heats the whole garage in conjunction with this but without this it stays pretty cold in here but with this like right now I have the door open just because I'm kind of in and out but 
mean, we got it up to 60 degrees. It's 30 out. So it's 30 degrees hotter in this garage near the open door. It's actually way warmer. I'm about to take my coat off. You know, it's just because this is almost 30,000 BTUs of heated air. Exhaust is getting ducted through here, which is extracting a whole ton of waste heat. And those generators heat this thing up just as hot. Because, you know, combustion engines waste most of their heat out of the muffler. But we go outside, and uh, the only thing coming out the other side is water vapor, which you can collect on a mirror, and it drips off. It's water vapor. And... Uh, clear clean water I've clicked it in a can and it's a lot and it can see actually dripping out of this copper I put a little extension to get past the windowsill I thought I'd bring you out here you can see there's just a little bit of steam I didn't have a mirror brought I brought a glass just to show you that it's just moisture like a ton of moisture as you can see just instantly fogged this whole jar up I smell it. it does not smell like diesel fumes see the water dripping down the side of the garage and in the tube so it's definitely uh, the moisture is coming out of there all right guys so it was so loud I put it in uh, cool down mode I shut it off so uh, now we have that off we can uh, actually talk about this so I was talking about the thermal mass of this. It's like 250 pounds. Uh, it's quite hot. Uh, thermal couple should still be warm. Right, cooling off. So this will stay warm for quite some time. We have 320 still. That's on the bottom, and then 200 on the top. And it's hot enough to boil water down here and cook. Um, I've actually boiled water up top, but you got to let this thing run for like four hours for that to get that hot. I only had this on for a total of about an hour. Um, in that time, it probably only used probably about half a liter of fuel, maybe even a little less. That's pretty good. Oh, it kicks up for a little while. To You have to always let these diesel heaters go into the cool down mode uh, and run that. You just shut them off can have issues with it melting the electronics and messing them up so if you didn't know that about diesel heaters when you shut them off you got to let them do their two minute cool down um, this little box if you couldn't hear me before I was kind of muffled probably um, that is uh, 480 watts 0 to 48 volts and it will it will push three of these and then uh, use these for emergency purposes like attaching several of them together put them on a cart put a generator deep cycle inverter some plumbing tubes and you got yourself an emergency heater uh, actually in an ice storm I used two of these heaters to save my butt because the guy couldn't get there right away so I I owe these heaters for hundred dollars each they're a hell of a deal save your ass but Right now I'm just doing this experiment and uh, I ran it with the generators like I was saying. Got tons and tons of heat from the generators. I put a load on them and uh, this thing actually got hotter. The top got 500. Uh, the bottom was like somewhere around 600 degrees when I was full bore after like two hours. So the generator really makes some serious heat waste. This heater is a little more efficient. It takes most of the heat out but you still get a lot. And the only thing that comes out the end is moisture. I've collected it. It's clean. So this thing cuts the emissions way down, I'm pretty sure. Because you can't really smell it outside. Even that you smell inside of this cup. Um, you can see the moisture is condensing. Get a bug in there. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's part of my, my science lab. Let's put that back up here. That's funny as hell. But um, yeah, so... These diesel heaters, good things to have, 27,000 BTUs, real fuel efficient, low maintenance, and then you got little projects you can do with them, it just runs on 12 volts, so you don't need one of those boxes, um, you can run them on just a car battery, 12 volts, or a marine deep cycle, 
And uh, yeah, this exhaust is so cool. I don't even worry about this half-ass like HVAC plumbing job. I have no leaks because my parts per million meter is still at zero. And that's where it runs at. Uh, I guess that's about all I wanted to show you. Maybe getting a bunch of free heat. Uh, you can warm up your gloves on these. Um, you know, dry them out. It's going to stay hot for quite some time. We dropped down to 194 and 273. But the door is open. It's 30 degrees outside, so this air is coming in, fresh air. Don't need it because this thing doesn't leak, but I'm just in and out. So I'll probably go do some other projects and uh, hope you join me next time. Have a good night.